Microsoft is increasing the price of Xbox Live Gold from $60 a year to $120 a year. It's $132 if you have to pay the new price. So here's kind of the breakdown of what's going on. If you're a current 6-month or 12-month subscriber to Xbox Live Gold or Game Pass, the price increase does not apply to you. Otherwise, Xbox Live Gold for one month will be $11 a month. $30 for three months and $60 for six months. No longer 12 months, six months. Meanwhile, Game Pass for just PC or Game Pass for just console is still $10 a month, $25 for three months, and $120 for a whole year. You can't buy a whole year, but that's what it would equal to. You can see what the goal is here. And I'm not a huge fan of this, let alone I'm not a huge fan of fake value marketing. It's a phrase I just came up with. Basically, how I d define that is where you have something that is a price and then you compare it something with something else that is the same price and yet that other thing has more value, obviously. So I'm like, just get rid of the thing. So Xbox Live Gold. The way you play online, if you have an Xbox, is now $120 a year. Meanwhile, Game Pass for console, just Game Pass for console, is $120 a year also. And it comes with Xbox Live Gold Plus games and other benefits like, you know, Spotify for three months or six months or whatever, Disney Plus for a month or, you know, whatever the case may be. Duh, we know what the value is. So why wouldn't Microsoft just kill Xbox Live Gold instead of raising the price for just Xbox Live Gold? It, it doesn't make any sense. But this looks bad to us, those of us who pay attention to what's going on in games. Those of us who watch YouTube videos like this, where you talk about what's going on in the latest news, or people who read the other you know, news article across the, the, the web, we are aware of the value of Game Pass. So when we see something like this, where Microsoft juxtaposes Xbox Live Gold with Game Pass, it's a stupid move because we know the value of Game Pass. So you don't need to compare it for us we get it. Game Pass is better. So instead of doing this fake value thing, just get rid of Xbox Live Gold because we know, okay, if that's what you want to do, if that's what you're going to do, okay, fine. Game Pass. I don't have a problem with Microsoft trying to get more numbers for Game Pass because that's ultimately going to help us because if more numbers come to Game Pass, then Microsoft might be able to entice more developers and publishers to put their games on Game Pass because there's far no more numbers that will engage with Game Pass. There's more numbers of people who play their games that would show up to download their games and buy microtransactions and all that other stuff with Game Pass. So there's a huge incentive for Microsoft to increase the numbers, but increasing the numbers like this is awful. It is I am surprised that they did this move this early. I knew they were going to raise the price at some point. You knew they were going to raise the price at some point. Or just straight up get rid of Xbox Live Gold because Game Pass comes with it also. We knew that day was coming. Now, you don't even have that many Series X's in the wild, I feel like, to justify doing this right now. But here's the flip side of it, why Microsoft would do it. I still don't like it, but here's the other perspective. Microsoft is talking to the average consumer. This is what's happening. The average consumer does not know the value of Game Pass the same way we know the value of Game Pass. So what you're going to see, more than likely, is Microsoft make an even bigger push for a Game Pass. And what they're going to do is... Show, hey, Xbox Live Gold is $120 now, but Game Pass is also $120. Not only that, it's $1 cheaper a month. And so, 
you get Xbox Live Gold, plus you get all the hundreds of games that come with Game Pass, plus all the benefits like Spotify or Disney Plus or gift certificate, or what, you know, whatever the case, whatever they do with that as well. That's what you're going to see for the average consumer. And the average consumer is going to see that and go, huh, okay, I think I could see that because they didn't know the value of Game Pass before. But if they went the route like we think they should have went and just cut out Xbox Live Gold, the average consumer is going to look at their bill and go, whoa, why is this mess $120 now? I'm not paying for that. And then they cut off Xbox completely. That's what the average consumer would do because they don't know about Game Pass and the value of Game Pass in the same way that we do. Maybe they've heard of it. Maybe, maybe they've seen it on the dashboard and stuff, but they don't really, they didn't dig into it. They there's a lot of people out there who just play Call of Duty, who just play Destiny 2, who just play Madden and NBA 2K. They, you know, they just play their one game or so. And that's how they spend their time. They're not interested in Game Pass. So it's like, yeah, you see all these games, but they're not really that interested. And so they haven't looked into it. And so Microsoft is trying to entice them to increase their numbers. I get it 100%. But it's still a terrible move at the end of the day because now the people who don't care about Game Pass have to pay $120 a year or maybe they pay by month. I don't I don't know the numbers of who pays by month versus 3 months versus 6 months versus a year. I don't have those kind of numbers. I don't know if those numbers exist. But there are now those people who will have to pay more just to play online. That's it. So the value isn't for those who only care about playing online and playing that one game that they care about, one or two games that they care about. There's a lot of those people, trust me. Game Pass has about 15 million people the last time they reported numbers. 15 million people subscribed to it. That's not an insig insignificant uh, amount of people, but they also have like 60 million people for Xbox Live. So you got 15 million, and you want to convert those 60 million into Game Pass subscribers. Did Microsoft, maybe Microsoft has the numbers. I imagine they have the numbers, let's be real. And they're confident that those 60 million of Xbox Live Gold subscribers would mostly convert with no issue to Game Pass. And maybe that's why they're doing this move. But this move looks bad. They didn't even, they didn't even try to put the value proposition in the xbox wire it's just this is what it is it's one dollar a month more okay it's only one dollar a month yeah but that equals 132 dollars a year versus just paying the 120 dollars a year right so you can save 12 dollars overall in the year it just sounds so terrible this is the worst move microsoft has done in a long time. And Microsoft has done some bad moves, but this is bad. This is really, really bad. We'll see how it goes over. Again, they have the numbers. They might be able to read this differently than us, but optically, whoo! I don't know how Microsoft is going to recover from this. They got, they got a lot of work to do after this. If you enjoyed this video, please tap that thumbs up button. It is very much appreciated. Also, we have lots of gameplay coming out from new and different games you should check out. So push the subscribe button so you don't miss the stuff that you're interested in. My name is Anthony Shelton. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.